The new interface for the Edgewonk Trading Journal has finally arrived. And on March 27, 2024, we have released the new updated design. And in this video, we'll show you what is new. And while we maintain the core features and the core principles in the Edgewonk Trading Journal, we have completely modernized the whole platform and improved usability to give you a better user experience in the journal. As you can see, the look has completely changed and it's more modern and we have improved the usability. In the home tab, you can see a few added key metrics here. You can still change and switch between currency display, percentage or a multiple. All of the filters now also apply to the home tab. So by default, Edgewonk will show you a breakdown of your whole trading journal data. But assuming we only want to look at our last 50 trades or 25 trades, we can do that by going to our filters and then the home tab will adjust automatically and it only shows you the data for that period. You can use all of the filters here in the home tab. We still have our basic and advanced filters here at the top. The switch for the light and the dark mode is also still here at the top. In Edgewonk, you can create unlimited journals and you have your complete journal overview here still in the same way. You can add new journals, you can clone and copy existing journals. The journal also has a new look, it's more modern. You can access all of your trades here. Just click on one of the trade rows and it will bring up the new interface for your trade overview. You can change and amend all the settings and the details. You can add personal notes here. The scaling in and out feature is hidden here behind the plus icon. So you can add multiple entries and also exits for your trades. You can assign entry, exit and trade management comments to describe your trades. You have your custom statistics here at the bottom. You can add up to six screenshots per trade. You can even paste directly your trading view URL here and Edgewonk will process it automatically. Most of the tabs have not changed significantly. We just updated the design and modernized the experience here. A few things are new, for example, in the notebook, you now have categories. So you have different categories for notes. You can create new categories. You can drag and drop existing notes into new categories. So the notebook now can become your trade and note editor. The settings are still here at the bottom left in your menu. You have your general settings. You can change and add multiple withdrawals and deposits in your journal. You can manage all of the different instruments that you have imported or traded. You have your list of setups. You can add a description to describe each setup. You have your trade comments here for the entry, exit and trade management comments. You can change the rating of your different comments. You can drag and drop them around also very easily. And that will also automatically adjust the order that you will see them in your filters and in the journal. You have your custom statistics here. We have 20 slots for your custom statistics that you can use in any way that you like so that you can fully customize your journal experience. In the top right, you will find a few other important links, such as a link to our updates. You have your profile page here. You can access your milestones, which gamify the journaling experience, and it makes the Edgewonk Trading Journal more interactive and more engaging. You can manage your subscription here. We are currently updating our journaling course, so you can access that here very soon. And you have a link to our documentation and our FAQ, which has tips for all of the different features and functions in Edgewonk. The chart lab is unchanged here in the left. We have just updated the look and the feel of all the graphs. There are a few other things that we are still working on to make it even nicer for you. You have a lot of options to change the appearance of your graph. For example, you can change your holding time to visualize it in hours or even minutes for our day traders. We have the performance by time, so you can analyze your trading performance on specific weekdays but you can go down and break it down even further to look at the hour of the day. How do you perform on specific hours throughout the day, which is very important for day traders to analyze different trading sessions and the impact of trading times. As you can see, we have also added here a button on the bottom left, which allows you to import and add new trades very easily from everywhere in your journal. Clicking on the right part of the button brings up the import tab. And here you can then select the type of import that you want to choose so basically you just select a trading platform or your broker that you want to use on your trading journal and then you can import all of your trades very easily. You can import hundreds of trades within just a few seconds. Here's a link to the FAQ. So if you have questions on how to get the right statement and how to download it from your trading platform, click on the blue link here and it will bring you to our FAQ. Clicking on the left part of this button brings up our manual trade input window and here you can manually add your trades. 
We're currently producing new videos that explain each feature in more detail and help you with all of the analytics. We are also currently working on some new exciting updates and features that are coming to Edgewonk very soon. We look forward to hearing your feedback and we hope that you enjoy the new updated interface with the improved design.